Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video, as you gathered from the thumbnail, I'm like organizing my desk while I'm talking. Okay, I'm just like, my, my space here is like so messy. Please somebody come help me organize all of this. I will love you forever. Um, today I'm gonna be redoing a, not redoing, but I'm gonna be creating a Bratz look. There's been a Bratz challenge going around. Um, I was gonna do this uh, with my friend Jacinda, who's also my cousin, um, and we were talking about it a couple weeks ago, and then now it's like freaking everywhere, so we figured we better get it done. She already filmed hers, so I'm a little late to the party, but we each chose a Bratz doll to recreate and humanize, if you will. Um, I'm not trying to age myself or anything, but Bratz was a little after my time. I am not old, you are old. My little sister had Bratz. Um, I didn't have Bratz dolls, I just had the traditional Barbie, uh, which I loved so much. I literally played Barbies till I was about 14 years old, 14, 15 years old, and I wanted to keep playing them when I was 16. And I was embarrassed, so I didn't, <laughs> but I definitely played Barbies for a really long time. Anybody else out there? Am I alone? Okay, moving on. So I chose this Bratz doll to do, I'll pop it on the screen, but let me pull it up on my phone. I was trying to decide between two different ones and I thought this one was super cool. So if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my Instagram stories, first of all, thank you. Second of all, you would have seen me cutting this wig. I looked like an insane person in my closet room, like cutting this wig, like the window is open and I swear if my neighbor looked out, like they're like literally right across, we live in track homes. So if they had seen that, I literally looked insane. I had like my Kmart special scissors and it went pretty well, she survived. So we got the wig ready to go, now we just need to do the makeup. This is an interesting makeup look because the eyes are kind of like more downplayed with more of like a brown kind of eyeshadow. And then we've got like a, a purple star here and some gold lips. Not sure what I want to do with these lips yet. I, I can't decide if I want to go pure glitter and just pack it on there or if I want to do more of like a glitter gloss like this ColourPop one. So we're gonna, we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna do, um, of course, my eyes first as always. So let's go ahead and start with that. Um, Nikki Tutorials mentioned the person who did this challenge first, and I told myself I was gonna remember who that was so I could say it in my video, and of course here I am filming and I don't remember who it is. I will put their um, YouTube channel if I can find that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to Nikki's and find it, but I'll put it in the description box in case you're curious, um, and I'll put it here on screen. But I think it's super fun to like take a doll's makeup and like humanize it. So we're not gonna follow this exactly, but we're gonna follow it pretty close and just make it a little more like, like her brows. I don't know, I I'm gonna have to, uh, I can't do these brows. So <laughs> we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to update those a little bit. I have already um, washed my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Silk Canvas Primer and I'm just gonna put this on my eyes. This is by Tatcha. Um, and I've actually never really put this over my eyelids. I just felt like doing that right now. So I guess, I guess we'll see. I mean, it makes sense that it would work. I'm gonna put this under the eyes too. I've been using the Morphe foundation pretty religiously lately. Um, so I'm actually gonna use the Morphe concealer. This is in C155, so this is kind of like a lighter shade. We're just gonna go ahead and use this. Um, I also have a discount code for Morphe. If you have been wanting to try out their new foundation and concealer, I highly recommend it. So how many of you guys like actually played with Bratz dolls? Let me know in the comments below, I'm curious. Um, and while I was watching Nikki's video, apparently Bratz dolls isn't like really a thing anymore. Like maybe just in the makeup world, but supposedly, they, people aren't really playing with them or kids aren't really playing with them anymore. I don't really know. I just know that if it's still in style from when my little sister was doing it, my little sister's old enough to drink now, um, it's, 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 probably, it's probably out. It's probably not a thing anymore. She said she went into like, uh, Nikki said she went into a store and they didn't even have them anymore and the girl was like, yeah, those are like out of style. <laughs> I grabbed some new products to try today, which is kind of dangerous when you're recreating makeup, but you know, we're just gonna go with it anyway. Oh, I was gonna use this new Smashbox concealer and I totally dropped the ball. 
So um, I will be using the BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii, or I'm sorry, Hangin' in Hawaii palette. It's just pretty neutral, not something I would usually grab for, but um, it's got a lot of pretty kind of warmer tones in it, so we're gonna go with that. And this makeup look is pretty simple. It literally looks like one shade pretty much all the way up into the crease with a liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyes with the Huda Beauty Pound Cake. Oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere. Um, setting powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Tiki and Maui and I might go in with a little bit of Mahalo, but for now I'm just gonna go in with these. Wow, that looks really pigmented. Um, and I'm just gonna pretty much put this all over. I was thinking I might put in some contacts for this look, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel after, after everything. Now her bangs are kind of blocking like the outer edge, but I'm just gonna assume that we're gonna have kind of a harsh line there and I'm just gonna blend outwards and we'll clean it up later. Dude, when is Eye Zombie coming back, you guys? Like I really need some Live More in my life. I'm so bummed that her hot boyfriend died. Like I was, I hope he comes back at some point. Do we think he's gonna come back? I don't know. The water delivery guy is about to like pop up any second. Like our thing is like leaking and he's bringing another one. Okay, I need to make this slightly darker. So I'm gonna go in with Mahalo. And I'm gonna like pop up with like one eye done. You know, it's gonna be really cute. Kind of gonna do this like high this way as opposed to like down here with my natural eye shape because their eyes are like really slanted, like fake slanted, like nobody looks like that. Dude, look at my extensions. Like this serious, this freckle on my ear is getting out of control. Um, these need to be redone, dude. They just like are showing through like crazy. They show so much more when they're like grown out. You guys have like a lot of head space here. I'm gonna fix the camera. Here I go, here I go, here I go. Again, girls, what's my weakness, men? Okay then, chillin', chillin', mind my business. What I'm gonna do for the liner on the top is I'm gonna use this. Okay, so I got a package of Dose of Colors new eyeliners and I'm so freaking stoked um, because I never get like eyeliner and, um, sorry, my stepmom is texting me. Okay, I never get eyeliner and lip liner in PR packages really, so it was a really fun surprise. Um, this is the packaging. It looks pretty cool. I got so many different shades too. This looks awesome. So you pull that off and then you just, Twirl it up and it's hard to tell on her whether it's like, you know, a liquid liner or something like this. So I'm just gonna go in with this and create our liner. And then I'm gonna smudge it out. So I'm going in with Honolulu from this palette right here, which is this darker one right here, just to kind of smoke this out. The eyeshadow palette's nice, like nothing to write home about. The shades are really pretty. I kind of like this palette too. Like if you're, you know, you kind of want to dip into colors like a little bit, but you don't want to um, like go full on color. Like you can create some, oh my gosh, I just stuffed my finger in this so hard and like got eyeshadow everywhere. But I like like this one, this one, this one, this one, like these you can get a little fun with and do something super colorful without like, you can dip your big toe in without having to, get crazy with it. Ugh. Ow, I just stabbed myself in the fucking eye. <laughs> Ow, that's gonna leave a mark. Gonna take this and flick it outwards just a little bit. Gonna wipe away our fallout. Build our shape. Bam! My eye is hurting so bad right now. It still feels like there's a brush in there attacking it. <gasps> going back in with Tatcha Silk Canvas, I'm going to prime my skin and kind of fill in when I, where I have larger pores. Uh, this is a brat stall. They literally don't have pores, so we need to make our skin look as flawless as possible. So dirty. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna clear off a little space over here with my makeup wipe. All right, screw it. I'm gonna use the Morphe foundation again. I'm gonna do 
a little mixture between these two. This one's a little more red because my chest is like more red right now, even though it looks weird on camera. Um, so this is the F2.20 and this is the F2.80. A little goes a long way with this foundation. Every time I use it, I pretty much always squirt out too much and end up just having too much in general. So don't be wasteful. And I'm using the brush that came with the Morphe foundation and I seriously love this brush for foundation. It's become one of my favorites, which is why it already has makeup on it. <laughs> I don't have time to clean it. Time for a little concealer. Going back in with the concealer we used on top of the eyes. Gonna use this. Oh my gosh, I just stabbed myself in the eye again. I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to soften this line a little bit. I'm gonna set under the eye area. I'm gonna go ahead and powder my face. I'm gonna use quite a bit of powder. We are a doll, so. I'm gonna go back in with that same um, dose of colors eyeliner and the eyeliner on her makeup is like really minimal. So, oh my gosh, I thought I wasn't filming for a second. Um, so I'm just gonna go on the inner corner and grab a little bit of the lash line, but we're not gonna smoke this out or anything. My eye is so nervous. Like, bitch, are you gonna stab me again? I probably will, sorry about it. Okay, I'm gonna try the Pure Cosmetics one. This looks like it's almost the same. This one is in shade light. I have a question for you guys and I wanna hear what you guys think about it. It's, I wanna know how everyone is feeling about IGTV. Like, do you watch it? Do you not? Do you care one way or the other? Like, I don't know what to do with it. I'm just like, okay, so I'm supposed to create content for my Instagram feed, YouTube, my animal channel, my animal YouTube, and IGTV, and Arctic Fox. I'm like, I might just, I might just explode. Like my brain just might explode, honestly. Okay, we're gonna come back to the brows. So her makeup, she doesn't look like she's really got like a whole lot of contouring going on, but this is like the 2019 version of this Bratz doll. So I'm gonna do, like, she just has a little bit of blush on there, but I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. I'm gonna use this guy. These are some of my favorite contour and blush products that are powder. Um, it's almost like, for me, like a hybrid between cream and powder in the sense that because it has a little bit of luminosity to it, it really makes your, um, your contour and your blush look super natural and it just really blends in with the skin nicely. So I really love these. I don't know why I'm contouring my forehead. Like this girl has bangs. We're not even gonna see it. Oh well. Her nose is like non-existent. So what I'm gonna do, actually her nose looks really tiny. So maybe I am gonna contour this schnoz to look even smaller. Honestly, don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> I need Karen to come teach me how to contour my nose the way that she does. Do a little shadow under here. Then I'm gonna take this and blend out. I mean, while we're at it, I might as well give myself a stronger jawline. Oh, I'm gonna have to put some tanner on my chest now. I'm gonna do a little bit of light contouring with a Park Ave Princess Tarte palette. This is a really cool palette if you kind of do a lot of fake tanners like I do and you're, you know, the shade that you need to contour with changes quite a bit. I really like this one. I usually take it on um, trips with me. For blush, I pulled the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. I love this stuff. It blends out super, super nicely. I've actually never used this shade, 
because it is so pink, I don't use pink shades like this typically, but she definitely has a little bit of pink and it looks like she like just has it right there. But I really, I don't think my hands will even allow me to do that. So I'm just gonna put this on like normal blush <laughs> with a focus, whoa, <laughs> with a focus out here. Ugh, I love this blush. It like blends out so freaking nicely. This blush like looks pretty good, even though it like looks so pink on it, like transforms. It doesn't look like she really has highlight on in this, but dolls are always a little shiny. So I'm gonna put some on anyway. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Kristen Exley in Beauty Bane, Beauty Bane, Beauty Beam Highlight Palette. I'm just gonna do a touch of this on the tip of the nose. Right here, doll would be kind of shiny right there. Um, I need a bigger brush. Here, of course. Oh, this highlighter palette will always be one of my faves. Again, I don't think the forehead's really gonna show, but So for the little star on the cheek, it is gonna be kind of about right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Um, I used to find that the Tarte like colored liners just wouldn't be very pigmented. So we'll see. But this is the Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. Let me find a tiny little brush. Oh, it's working. Why didn't I just put a sticker on? I don't really know. Going to put a little mascara on. This is the Buxom, what is this called? Buxom Black, Blackest Black Mascara. I like this one because it doesn't like clump up the lashes, which I love for when I'm gonna be putting on false lashes on top. Cause if you have like, for instance, like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara that really builds up quickly, and which is great, I love that mascara, but I prefer to use one that coats the lashes more individually like this when I'm gonna be wearing false lashes because I don't want my real lashes competing with and not mixing well with my false lashes, so this one is really great for that. For lashes today, I just got these in the mail, so I wanna try these out. This is the Huda Beauty, whoa, it has like a little insert here. Um, what are these? I threw the top part of the box away. Uh, well, these are the new Huda Beauty lashes that I just got. These are like the faux mink ones. So they're made out of synthetic fibers. And this one looks like it has like a bit of brown and black in it. So because our eyeshadow, if I get this off here, because our eyeshadow has a lot of brown in it, I think these will be good. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my hair done on Sunday. Um, I'm super, stoked and like ready to color this. I'm getting new extensions and we're gonna go longer. These extensions I've had for like six months now and they're just like, they've had it, they're done. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a little trick too while my lashes are getting ready to uh, be put on. If my foundation is ever too dark than my chest, like if I'm traveling and I don't have access to a bunch of different shades of foundation or it's too late, a little too late, like I've already put it on, I'm already darker, kind of like a little bit how I am right now. You're gonna wanna keep this on hand. This is the Pure Bronzer Selfie. Um, any body bronzer will really work. I just really like this one. So what I like to do is grab like a foundation sort of a brush and put a little bit of this on there and go ahead and put this on and your whatever like part of your chest is showing is automatically going to be darker and be closer to what you need to match your foundation. Boom. Super fun. Like I'm going to just add a little bit more. Um, super fun little trick. Like if you, I mean, I hate when I finish doing my makeup and I'm like, oh my gosh, like the shirt I was going to wear is like totally showing my chest and it doesn't match. This is awesome. I also have a code for, I think it's 20% off and free shipping for anything pure while you're over there. Check out their lashes. They're bomb as fuck. Like their lashes are awesome. So really good to keep in your arsenal, especially if you're a makeup artist and you're doing someone's makeup and you don't have time or you're on a shoot to like, you don't have time to like do more rather than adding concealer or like foundation on the neck and chest, which is gonna like just cover skin and make it lot, look not like skin. This is gonna be your best friend. I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's put these lashes on. 
I like these lashes. They're like nice and fluffy, but still look natural, which I love. Okay, I got a little mascara down here. So what I like to do is just grab like a concealer brush once it's dry and just flick it off like so. I've pretty much done everything that I can do here. Let's go get this wig on and we will finish with the lips. Woo! Okay, we're gonna pretend that these are the straightest bangs you have ever seen because you know how hard it is to cut synthetic bangs straight? Like, I gave up halfway through, so. <laughs> For lips, I'm gonna be uh, kind of lining these so that we have a nice, ba a nice gold base with Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Gold Mine. And I'm just gonna fill this in as well. For the gold uh, glitter lips, I'm gonna be using ColourPop's Ultra Glossy Lip in Hypno Tees. Uh, looks like this. And I'm gonna decide from here if I want to put more glitter on. Okay, I'm gonna take a tad of glitter. This is the La Splash Glitter in Gold Rush. And I'm just gonna take like a little fluffy brush and take what's on the cap and sprinkle some on here. And here she is. Brat Stall is finished. I'm so afraid with this uh, glitter lipstick to do anything. I probably need to wipe it off right after this. But this was super fun to recreate. Um, are there any brat stalls that you guys would love to see recreated in my own version? Tweet them to me, leave the name below. I will look them up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you recreate a brat stall yourself, please tag me in the photo. I'd love to give you some love on it and check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to check out Jacinda's Bratz doll look. I will link it in the description box below. Thanks guys, bye.